Yeah, you heard me, you ain't feel me. I've been moving, I've been shaking, going hit me on the celly. Try to sell me on something while I hold it. Compelling her since I've been gone like Kelly. They've been trying to tell me about this and that. I ain't telling with you, we ain't going tit for tat. Trying to tell me how to get in the bag. We're going to get in the bag. I'm about to get in the Is a habit, you should know it's automated. I've been getting to it, I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chicks, you don't know that I can face it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debate. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'm gonna need something, I can calm down front. I'm gonna pull it with the ball down one. Six months in, I ain't got once. Try and tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Dallas Cowboys. It's an Indian summer afternoon, perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. And this carries into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. timeout called by the Cowboys defense they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter and 10 McDonald and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete pressure and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward and that time they were able to get in there and influence the throw remember quarterbacks got to get rid of it they don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore Complete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. McDonald. And he finds McLaurin. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. First down, Detroit. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Ten. 
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. You don't see that a ton, do you? A cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Out of the gun, McDonald. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 16 yards, a first down. A gain of 16 yards. And the Lions first down. Operating from the gun, McDonald will find Gibson here complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Looking to throw on second down. McDonald, and yeah, he'll get this to Antonio Gibson complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? They go play action here on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And four. They'll try and run for it. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. Great first drive defensively. Third and short, able to stuff the run. And what it does is it gives not just confidence to your defensive players. It gives an overall feeling of, okay, we've established things here early. We can carry this throughout the game. Stopped behind the line as he will not come close to the marker. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. They'll run on first down. It's Gibson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. 
And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Touchdown, and the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Just a great individual effort there to take that pop pass and scamper off into the end zone. And that's why offenses love that play partner because that gives them a chance to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers with a full head of steam behind them. It's often like a track relay. Legs two, three, and four. That first guy steaming ahead, and he just hands it to you, and you get a chance to take off and go before you even get the baton. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary? And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. Cowboys. A big play here for the Cowboys. 51 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Throwing now is Chungabailoa. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wait, hold a second here. Flag down. Let's see if this will stand. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Even at seven now as they kick it away. Looking up into the roof and he muffs it. It's loose. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. First down, McDonald, they'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. From the gun, McDonald into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Yeah, he's got a guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand. Put it behind you. Keep pressing forward. on the tackle. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 23-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. With the score tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. To a hit, and the ball is out. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. 
Well, partner, they went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On first down, McDonald. This is brought in by Gibson. Three yards the gain there, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. They'll try the left side. Gibson. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 37. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. At their own 42-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Looks like they went for the combo play there, a nice ample gain on the ground on the previous play. Going for the big shot on that one, unsuccessfully. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw again, McDonald. And he'll complete this to Gibson. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackle. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. <laughs> they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. So they went two yards in the wrong direction on the last pass play, and now it's third and 12. Operating from the gun, McDonald. Throwing left side, it's complete. McDonald's pass. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Gibson, not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. 
Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? To throw on second down, McDonald. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off near the 26. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. The Cowboys, we haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments or the backup may see some time. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On second down, Tua winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Akuda. And he's got some space here. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays. But you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get into the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial? Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third you time. You had it. You Picked you had off it. at the 24. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I would kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll run with Elliott. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Tracy Walker on the tackle. That's a gain of three. On third down, Elliott. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. 
Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Two and now on first down. Throw left side complete. It's Elliott. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. First I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there. The way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. From midfield, here's Tua. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Yannick Ngakwe able to record his fifth sack of the season. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. On third and long, it's Tug of Iloa. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Lions will take over. 26-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Brings up second and ten. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and ten. Throwing again, McDonald. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. the gun McDonald and this time he's got the hookup it's complete and he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion they'll get a dozen there and the Lions have a first down operating from the gun McDonald and a quick throw here that's complete and he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Looking to throw on second down. McDonald. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And four yards to go. Now 
they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They go play action with McDonald. And my goodness, another interception. Dante Jackson picks it. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. So the first thing that crossed my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game, and it's something you did not need to do. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. After the turnover, it's Tua. Flushed out right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But I, let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. On second down, Elliott. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. They'll try to run it in with Keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. It's now fourth and goal. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. Tongue of Iloa going for it on fourth down. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand. offense ready to kick off their next drive and you gotta think if this is anything other than just taking a knee I'd be very Gibson gets hit and he fumbles it so we have come to halftime and what's already a two touchdown game as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman he has our EA Sports halftime report It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there. That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Check, he's 
Here's Tua. And he comes back with one complete. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. And it's tough time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. Being chased out left. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Looking to pass to him. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. offense ready to kick off their next drive pretty important third quarter drive for the momentum is sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead and they're able to get this one across the 35 first play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down and the lions first down They'll keep it on the ground. Gibson, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. McDonald off of the play fake. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. First down, Lions. 
So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That catch good for only a couple. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Anthony Brown. The 20. You got to love it, baby. Give me some more. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. That's tough there. Starting to mount a good drive. Quarterback lets his guard down for just a moment, and it's going to bite him. Yeah, I'm just about to remark how control of the game they were here in this third quarter, but that return for six points, we now have a game again. Zerline good with a PAT, and we are tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have a decent field position of throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Gibson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's McDonald to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He'll try and run it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. McDonald sets to throw. He's got his man on the crossing round. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. McDonald. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. throw again. McDonald nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately...
had an alert teammate who was able to get it. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. From the gun, it's McDonald. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. On is the punter, Hawk, as he gets this one away. Taken in at the 11. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. From the 22, here's second and eight. Tua sets up to pass it. And he'll go underneath to Elliott. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On second down, it's Pollard. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. Well, we had a number of good games in the afternoon sessions, but this Sunday nighter might top them all. We come up here on first and 10. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. The pass there complete to Sutton. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards on the play, first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. First down carry by Elliott. Down to the 25. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 
Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now Tua. Oh no, he lost the football. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. First down, Lions. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Short gain, short gain last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try to left side. It's Gibson, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Play action. It's McDonald. They'll roll him out right. On the run. He'll let this go. Now the defense loses him. It's complete. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team. 
and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. To throw is Tua. Smith catches left side. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Smith Jr. It's a gain of 12 yards. Leads to third and 11. to throw the open man is Smith and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds 14 yards good for a Cowboy first down first and 10 at the 38 yard line so here's a first and 10 at the 38 Now tongue of Iloa. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First and 10 at their own 13-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Yeah, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you can just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> As this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance. So for Detroit, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 and now on the young season. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for Dallas, they suffer defeat for the first time as they drop to 2-1. and And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington. 